Hey there, I'm your host Lesoe, and in today's video, I'll show you how to create a pressure plate. So if you step on the button, the door will raise, and if you step off, the door will begin to close. And once again, if we step on, the door will open, and if we step off, the door will close. A second alternative, if you want the door to stay open after stepping on the button, the door will remain open, and if you stand again, the door will close. So let's begin. First, let's go into our content drawer and right click here. I'm going to create a new folder called pressure plate. Inside this folder, I'm going to create a blueprint class and I'm going to create an actor. This will act as our door. So go inside. Inside the viewport, we're going to add a static mesh. And my static mesh is going to be called door. And for the static mesh, I'm going to select a cube. You can select whatever you'd like. Cube for me is going to be fine. And for the scale, I'm going to say three, one, and four. Once this is done, I can compile and save. And let's go to the event graph. Inside the event graph, we can delete three of these blueprints. And let's create a custom event called switch on and off. So from here, let's get a flip flop. This will determine our open and close. And from A, let's add timeline. And timeline is going to be called door timeline. Then B will simply reverse this, like so. Then double click inside the timeline for length. And this will depend how long you want the door to open. For me, two seconds is fine. Then add track, add float track, right click, add key to curve float, set the time to be zero and the value to be zero as well. Then right click once again, add key to curve float set the time to be your length, so two seconds for me, and the value is going to be one, and hit enter. Once that is done, compile and save. Let's go back into the event graph, and from here, new track zero, let's get a lerp. And once you've done that, break the pin, because A will be the open time, and B will be the close time. Sorry, or A will be the close time, and B will be the open time. So from track zero, go to alpha, and to know what your open time will be, Go to viewport and simply you can drag the door and you can see how much you want it to open. I already know that 300 is perfect for me and you'll see this uh, this value over here. So it's 40 right now and it can go up. So let's bring it back down to zero. Let's go into the event graph and for B, let's say 300. From here, I simply want to get my door and I want to set relative location and on new location, right click split struct pin and return value will go into Z. Update will go here and that's our door done. So we can compile and save. Then in uh, our pressure plate folder, let's right click once again and create a new blueprint class. And this time it's going to be an actor as well. BP called pressure plate. Over here in the viewport, we're going to add two static meshes. The first is going to be our frame. And for this, you can, of course, select uh, whatever shape you like. I'm going to go with a cylinder. And for the height, I'm going to go 0 0.05. So it's pretty flat. And for the element, I want it to be wood. Then once that is done, let's uh, add another static uh, mesh. And this time, this is going to be our plate or switch. And in the static mesh, I'm going to get a cylinder once again. And for the element, I want it to be metal or brick, something like that. For the height, I'm going to say 0 0.1. And then for the scale, I'm just going to say 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 once again. Then before we leave, I also want to add a collision. Otherwise, our player won't be able to interact with the button. Now, because I'm using a cylinder, I'm going to go with the sphere collision. But if you're using a square, go with the box collision. So sphere collision here. And I'll rename it to collision. And for the sphere radius, I believe I had it at 45, something like that. Yeah, that's good for me. So we can compile and save. Over here in the event graph, we can delete these guys. We want to right click on the collision, add event, add on component, begin overlap. And once again, add event, add on component, and overlap. From here, we want to call the custom event we created in our door blueprint. So to do that, we need to create a custom variable. This is going to be called door ref. And for the type, we're going to search door. 
because that's the name of our blueprint and select object reference then say compile and save if we drag this on the screen we'll be able to get our custom event called switch on and off now you can duplicate this and you can connect this to both of our again events like so and then we can add our timeline so from here add timeline now this timeline is going to be called plate timeline and this will open it and this will reverse this so double click on your timeline length for me it's going to be one second i'm happy with that add a track add float track right click add key to curve float now these values you want to be zero for both Hit enter right click once again and now the time you want to be the length so one for me and value you always want to be one hit enter we can compile and save now go back into your event graph from new track let's get a lerp break this uh, link a is our open button and b is our closed button so connect this into alpha and to know our closed button simply go to the viewport and experiment with this so if i bring this down I should see the location value change so it's zero zero now and it's minus 10 so minus 5 will be good for me so if i go back into the event graph and change this value to minus 5 and then get my plate and i say set relative location i split this pin connect this into z and update that like so so that's our plate done we can compile and save so if we go into our world we could bring this into here. Now let's actually do one more thing before we set the door. Uh, select the door reference and over here say instant adaptable. So we can compile and save again. Now this will allow us to select the door if we bring it into the world. So I'll bring it about there. And if I click back on the button, select the door right there, we can uh, save. And if I hit play, our button should allow us to open the door like so and if i step off it will close now if you want it to uh, remain open simply delete this node connect it into reverse and this time if we hit play our button will keep the door open and if i stand on the button once again it will close the door so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial i hope it was easy to follow if you liked it leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing